वेलकम स्टूडेंट टुडे वी हाउ टू परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट दैट इज जीनर डायोड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हियर वी वांट टू स्टडी द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ जीनर डायोड फॉर दैट हियर द सर्किट डायग्राम फॉर द जीनर डायोड इज सी आर फर्स्ट ऑफ हियर दिस विल बी द पावर सप्लाई व्हिच इज प्रोवाइडेड this will be the series resistance this will be the zener diode so this will be the symbol of zener diode so here this will be the milliameter and now again through which we want to measure the potential that is a voltmeter right so this will be the simple circuit diagram for the characteristics of zener diode this will be the inbuilt kit of the characteristics for the zener diode right so in this kit here voltmeter and milliammeter is given see here in voltmeter here in between the 0 and 2 there are 10 divisions which is given so the value of one division is 0.2 volt right similarly in this milliammeter in between the 0 and 2.5 there are 10 divisions which is given so the value of one division is simply 0.25 milli ampere right so this will be the least count of voltmeter and milliammeter see here <coughs> this will be the inbuilt kit so that's why here already your connections are connected right so don't connect any wire to this one because of this will be the inbuilt so don't connect any wire from the outside right now this will be the potential meter here through which we increase or decrease the potential and we see that increase or decreasing potential in this voltmeter and as per that here the current which is the changes we want to measure that or we want to uh, note down that from this milliammeter right here this will be the zener diode here so this will be the zener diode so this will be the symbol of zener diode and now this will be the smaller one is the zener diode right so first of here we want to switch on this kit here the knob is given so turn towards the on here the red lights are glow it means that this kit is on right then then now here we want to change the potential as per uh, and as per that here we want to note down the current through this milliammeter first of you see this observation table see here <coughs> in observation table first one is the serial number second one is their input voltage that is provided potential in third column we get the current through the zener diode we want to note down that and last one is their output voltage again we want to calculate that right so here here we want to take the reading see here first of here through this potential meter we want to change the potential and again we want to note down here right and as per that how much current it changes inside the milliammeter we want to note down that so here we want to change your potential by the five five divisions we know that the value of one division in voltmeter is simply 0.2 volt and if we change that potential by 5 5 divisions it means that we change the potential by 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt 4 volt 5 volt just like this one and as per that here how much current which is the changes in milliammeter we want to note down that right so first of here when the potential is zero when the potential is zero then the value of current through the milliammeter which is also zero right now we want to change the potential by the five divisions now we are the value of five division is simply 1 volt see here in the voltmeter here we change the potential by the five divisions so here the value of five division is simply 1 volt but at that time inside the milliammeter deflection is zero it means that the value of current is zero 
right then again here we want to change the potential by five divisions it means that we want to take the potential is to hold now see here now potential is to hold then at that times there value of current which is again zero value of current is there again zero that is 0, 0.0 now again change the potential by the one hold now inside the voltmeter potential is 3 hold but at that time at that time inside the milliammeter the value of current is 0 that is 0, 0.0 again change the potential by the one hold now we get the potential is 4 hold but again inside the milliammeter the position of pointer which is not changes it means the deflection is zero so the value of current which is also zero right now take the potential is a five hold see here now potential is a five hold but again the value of current is zero so what you get there for five hold potential the value of current is value of current is again 0, 0.0 again we want to change the potential by the one hold now their potential is cr when we change the potential from 5 towards the 6 then we reach to the 5.8 but at that time that milliammeter shows the deflection see at 5.8 their deflection is 7.5 right when the potential is there 5.8 5.8 hold then at that time here current is it means that the position of the pointer is at what you get there uh, after 7.5 there we get the five divisions so what we get there so the value of this one is that is 8.25 what you get there 8.25 milli ampere 8.25 milli ampere but again if we change the potential we change the potential here this voltmeter cannot be shows the deflection after that but milli ammeter shows the large deflection see here when we reach to the 6 volt potential at that time inside the milliammeter that pointer goes outside the scale that is out of scale right immediately you want to turn off the circuit right what we get there when we take the potential is 6 volt that is 6.0 then at that time the pointer inside the milliammeter which is goes out of scale that is we get out of scale right so in this way we get the reading see once here see here when we take the potential is zero then current through the zener diode is zero again when we take the potential is one hold again current is zero in this way up to the five hold potential the value of current is zero but when we reach to the 5.8 hold potential and at that time inside the millimeter we get the deflection at 6.25 and again if we change the potential right so what we get that at 6 volt potential that pointer goes out of scale right so in this way we get the reading we get the graph just like here see here <coughs> in the graph here we take the two axis that is x axis and now vertical is the y axis here we know that the zener diode which is work in a reverse bias so that's why the graph of the zener diode in a third quadrant means in third quadrant the value of x axis and y axis are negative this will be the negative x axis and now this will be the negative y axis here along the 
negative x axis we take the input potential vi again that potential which is measured in hold right and along negative axis we take the current through the zener diode that is iz again that iz which is measured in milli ampere right here we take the scale for x and y axis cr for x axis 1 cm is nothing but the 1 volt and along y axis 1 cm which is nothing but the 5 milli ampere right so as for that here here along the x axis we get the potential 1 volt 2 volt 3 volt 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 that is 1 cm is nothing but the 1 volt similarly along the y axis here this will be the 5 10 15 20 25 then 30 in this way we get the current in milli ampere along the y axis see here <coughs> up to the 5 volt input potential the value of current through the zener diode is zero it means that here for 1 volt their current is zero for 2 volt again their current is zero 3 volt current is zero again 4 volt current is zero and again 5 volt their again current is zero but for the 5.8 the value of current is that is the value of current is there 6.24 5.8 volt their current is 6.25 milli amp that reading here here for the 5.8 now here we get the 5.8 volt but for that current is there 6.25 milli ampere it means that we get that point here right then for the 6 volt there current this one so if you draw the curve for that so what we get there so we get the curve just like this one in this way then for c student here <coughs> here we get this curve for the zener diode here at 6 volt what happen potential which is not changes but that pointer in milliameter which goes out of scale so that's why here that pointer goes out out of scale means there through that milliameter there tremendous amount of current is flow that is through that circuit the tremendous amount of current is flow right now in this graph now this will be the line for the out of scale again if we extend here in back directions then this line which is intersect to the x axis at 6 volt then this 6 volt represents the zener breakdown voltage now this voltage is nothing but the zener breakdown voltage so here in this the zener breakdown voltage is simply 6.0 volt right so this is about the characteristics of zener diode